It, it depends. I think, you know, it's that going back to kicking the can down the road that we saw in so many different areas of the market. We saw it with the Chinese deal, the trade deal that didn't get consummated until over a year after we first started talking. You kept pushing it down and then you got the conclusion and it was a different outcome. So this is a momentum market. The stocks, momentum stocks, the overall market's momentum. So as long as the momentum of good news continues and the expectation, the reality of what the economy is going to look like when this is all said and done, when we're back to work, is not going to matter. Because companies are not giving guidance for the second half. So they're basically saying, you've got a freebie on valuation. You've got a freebie on metrics. It's all about sentiment right now. And guess what? It pays to be an optimist in any market because markets go up 85 percent of the time. And that 15 percent you want to be a pessimist is what we saw in February and March. And it's very short lasting. So, yeah, I think it continues for a while. Airline stocks uh, surging today uh, after uh, an increase in bookings over the holiday weekend. Phil LeBeau's got the details on that for us. Hey, Phil. Hey, Wolf, what a day for the airlines, all up between 12 and 15 percent, along with, you know, the momentum in the market. There was some good news, a modest increase in the number of people who were flying over the holiday weekend. That said, when you compare where the industry passenger levels are now compared to where they were uh, back in April, or March, they're still a long ways away. In fact, the levels this weekend down 87% compared to where the industry was back in March. It was about 2.4, 2.5 million. And over the weekend, you saw levels between 260,000 and 340,000. And the airlines are still restricting capacity this summer. That is going to be the storyline that people are going to be watching on. How much capacity will they bring back as they see more people flying? Way too early to know at this point, guys. Phil, just wanted to point out one analyst call to you that, that we've been discussing. Southwest uh, got a big upgrade yeah. from UBS. What can you tell us yep. about that? It plays into the recovery theme. It does. And really what they're looking at in terms of the airlines, they're saying, who has the strongest balance sheet right now? And so when they raised Southwest right now to a buy rating from neutral, they basically said, you've got a number of factors here. One, they're going to set the price target at 41. It was at 37. And they believe that when the balance sheet, when you analyze Southwest compared with others in the industry, they have the least amount of leverage and they have the clearest path to recovery. As the industry goes through this rough patch, however long this is, six months, nine months, a year, year and a half, they have the clearest path to recovery. By the way, Southwest has outperformed the airline index uh, and you can see it very clearly there. It's been a nice outperformer, and that's largely, guys, a reflection on the balance sheet. Phil about thanks so much for that. Steve Weiss, I mean, w when we consider these airline stocks, American, for example, you know, it's still down 61% uh, year to date, uh, despite a, a huge rally uh, today of 14%. Uh, similar kind of thing applies to the banks which are rallying today. I mean, uh, again, it's all relative to, to where they got to. Does that still allow you to buy them even, even up 14% today? I wouldn't buy the airlines. It's still fool's gold. And, and what we're losing sight of here is that even when traffic returns, and keep in mind, it was three years after 9-11 that it took for traffic to get back, you're going to see a lot fewer business travelers. And that's where the airlines make the margin. They don't make it off the people that are riding for vacation, buying $100 fares to go out to L.A. from New York. It's all about the front of the bus, and it's about the business traveler. We're going to see that continue to decline from where the historic levels are because people don't have to get in the road. In terms of the financials, look, they're different because they're healthy balance sheets. But I just don't see where they're going to make money with a yield curve that, yeah, it's steep and little, but still, it's very low levels. The margins are very low. And if you take a look, the loan books just aren't growing at all. So maybe going out two years, three years, we'll get back to where they were, maybe sooner because it's an optimistic market. But fundamentally, it's not where I want to be.